Hello everybody! Hi! So, how is the weather outside your window? Because our is horrible. It's, yeah, it's raining, really it's cold. cold. It's 4 degrees, even if we are in southern Bari. Southern Bari? It's southern Italy, in Bari. <laughs> maybe also in southern Bari. <laughs> yes, maybe. It's really awful weather. So. Yes. So, today we came back in our minds to our awesome trip to Greece. And we want to tell about it. Yeah, so we were in Greece in 2015, in summer. It was... Okay, it's really a, a long story because it was um, yes, some a, kind of aero trip. So yes, it was a longer trip that we were uh, going through all Europe to arrive yeah. to Greece. So, so we got there by train to Saloniki uh, from Belgrade. Which is uh, okay. Another story, and maybe one day we'll we'll talk about it. But for the moment, we are talking only about uh, Saloniki. Okay. Uh, if you would like to exactly see uh, how to make Euro trip, the tips, I don't know, ideas, where you should go, with which destination. Yes. So let us know. We will make the questionnaire uh, up. And you can click yes or no and vote for uh, what you like, if you would like to see it or not. So, yes, if you would like, we will make it. Yes. So, because of this, we chose the um, subject of today's video, and which will be f uh, five reasons to visit Saloniki and we can say generally to visit Greece. So, yes, the, we were in Saloniki yeah. and the place is close to Saloniki, so we, on basis of this we will tell about the trip. So yeah, we, we stayed there like around three days, but probably we can say two full days, as we arrived there very late, as we arrived uh, with, by train from Belgrade, and which should be illegal because it was really hard and it was long absolutely crazy trip yeah around <laughs> five hours yeah. delay and with with no food on some kind of very okay funny train really old yes it was dirty but smelling we were without food it was delayed like four hours yeah we we're so tired i don't know five. yes maybe my five five and okay because as you can imagine we are crossing many borders firstly border with macedonia and then with greece and finally we arrived uh, saloniki is in the northern part of greece and so we are very late and tired so we are not really using good this time there and yes first day we lost yeah. a bit because we were hoping that we would arrive at 10 in the morning finally we were arriving in the afternoon and uh, we needed to find out our hotel to find out in the city so it was not so easy i think that we were tired after yeah, so many really hours tired. of travel we were hungry it was not so nice but okay as we arrived we arrived to hotel we were resting a bit we were eating then we understood the city is really awesome yes we had one day to go around the city and for the second day we chose uh, to go to sea the beach and we went to uh, Kalamitsi which is in Kalchidis and stop 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 this is the first yes. really main reason for me about why you should go and visit uh, Greece because it's really awesome it's so beautiful I love it a lot and really I'm living a lot in Italy like this is my second time that I'm living longer period in Italy so I saw really many places here I was in Sardinia, I was in Sicilia I was uh, in all the coasts on one side and on another also so I think that I saw many places and I really love the Italy, Italian beauty of, of, of landscape and everything but I think that the thing that uh, Greece has and Italy has Doesn't a problem matter, yeah. with is, is the um, is that the quantity of people, of people yes, yes. yes so as you can imagine there are really many Curi also no, yes in nice Italy beaches in Italy but they're really crowded yeah they are really also expensive so they are dirty yeah, sometimes dirty. okay when they are private maybe no but exactly when they are private they are very expensive like for example for some bed we can sometimes pay like 20 euros yeah. while in greece we are paying for two sun beds 
and uh, umbrella that was really like this Hawaiian style yeah. with uh, with grass and everything it was so cute and it was for five euros everything for all day really it was awesome and exactly the thing is that in Italy you have more expensive beaches are little they are full of stones while in Greece they are sandy yeah. and, and really because of this how we consider strongly to everybody that love uh, sun beach sea and resting without I don't know huge quantity of people around without I don't know noisy children and other I don't know complaining people uh, exactly go to Greece because it's full of beautiful uh, beaches you can go there and you, you can, if we were exactly this is maybe thing that we should underline that you were there in July it was really middle of the season so it wasn't like I don't know some early June that me, not so many people go but it was really time that everybody goes for some for summer holiday so. Yeah. so we chose to go to Kalamitsi, which is in uh, Kalchi, this peninsula, this is really okay, enough close to Saloniki. Yeah. We went there by bus and it was around two hours and a half of away, of one, yes. yeah, away. And there were really many places that we could see, really many beaches around this places, yes. We were Saloniki. going and they were stopping in different cities when where the places were awesome. But exactly Simone was checking that the one that he chose, that it was Kalamitsi was uh, the most beautiful. Yeah. He chose Kalamitsi as it was looking as the most beautiful from pictures and also the, one of the most famous. Generally we had like only two days so we saw only one. But if yeah. you go there and you have more days and you are, you will be not so tired like, as we were when we arrived there. Yeah. You may really see many other places around, many yeah. other also, beaches. There are at least like five, six, which are really like first choice. What to see? And so, if you stay there for one week, you can really see Saloniki in one day, and then going around by bus to see this. Yes. Also, places. exactly. If some uh, Simo said that by bus, but I think that if somebody will rent the car, also it will be very nice because yes. you could go to more places. So yes, if you are going and you, you want to rent a car so you can see more places, it's really awesome. Even when you are going and you are not stopping, the view is awesome, completely awesome. Yeah. Also, the, exactly, the views are not so destroyed by people. You don't see so many houses and other things like in Italy. Okay, I love the view of Italy, but this is something completely different, something wild that also I love it. And this so, was as you can imagine, Sal Saloniki is not the best place to go to see. But because, because as you can imagine city. it's big city, there is port, water is polluted, is dirty, but really there are many places around which are even closer than two hours. We chose one of the best because we really wanted to see this Kalamitsi, but there are many other places which are even closer. Yeah. And even if you don't have time you can go a bit closer yes. and yes, save this time that you could stay on the way to go on the beach. But okay, we were going a lo enough long and also we were not starting very fast because uh, uh, you must know that the mm, bus stop that the buses are going from uh, is out of the city, so also you must arrive there before, it's not in the center of the city but it's a bit outside and exactly when we understood it we lost a bit of time so we arrived like at 10 there so also you must imagine that we are arriving to the beach like around 12 I think but anyway we're spending there enough time, I think that there was really a few hours and yeah. It was very nice day. And okay, so about the, the second reason to visit Saloniki, we could say that okay, it's really full of natural beauty, but also you should consider the urban beauty, you should consider the monuments and the historical things that you can see in, in Saloniki. So, as we said, you can really see easily the city in one day and going around and as you can imagine Greece is really full of uh, archaeological sites and really you can see many historical things and in the center you can see the white tower or the um, many really beautiful uh, orthodox churches which are really amazing for me because they are really in a uh, totally different style from Italian or Polish churches and architecture. Yeah, you can true. go inside every day and they are so beautiful, full of gold mm -hmm. and it was really interesting to visit them. Yeah, so you can be sure that I will bomb in before the first part up, uh, with photos uh, of beaches and other things and Simone will show for sure something from yes. the city. 
So if you are a couple like us and one of you is interested in beaches, sea, natural beauty and the other is interested in monuments, in city landscapes, Greece is really perfect for you and even Saloniki is really perfect. be perfect and so Kinga is really interested in, in beaches okay. and sea and I want to say that this, is, <laughs> that this is not like this at this kind of tourist that we stay, I don't know, one week or two lying on the beach but yes exactly I like like mixing this, like I like exactly when we are going to places when there is a beautiful beach that I can stay for example one day or two or and there are also the places to see because really I love also the historical things but I love lying on the beach and because I'm from Poland always cold and then I see yeah. some beautiful uh, beaches with with palmas and with with a lot of sun and I can spend a lot of time there I think <laughs> okay. yes so. and I think that now it's the time for the third thing the third thing is uh, food food is also a really awesome thing believe me because I was going there and okay I love Polish cuisine, I love Italian cuisine. I know that all Italians will now complain that yes, Italian cuisine is the best. I know that is good, but I think that uh, Greek t uh, cuisine has this, this quality that is lighter. Like when you are eating, you are not feeling so full. When you are eating pasta, you are eating there some sweets in Italy. Many times I feel so full after dinner. Well, exactly in, um, in Greece, we are eating so many good things, but then I was feeling so okay with this and I think that this is something that they're good in because you must imagine that when it's very hot it's not so big pleasure of eating heavy things well exactly when they prepare their food that is for example souvlaki that we were trying yeah this is like some kind of kebab or many of you can may uh, confusing with kebab but okay it's still very close to it but it's not kebab but it's basically with meat, vegetables and pita it's this probably the most famous uh, traditional Greek food and I think that the secret of Greek food are probably sauces like tzatziki or many other sauces which are very fresh yeah. many times with yogurt, with fresh vegetables, with cucumber and so if you are hungry and you are there you can be sure that this will be perfect place for you, to eat. yes. <laughs> and especially if you go to summer and you are you are sweated, you are tired after visiting, after going around the city, I really suggest you to go to the brand Today Delicious. This is kind of coffee shop, very famous, very popular in Greece. And there you can drink Fredocino, which is basically frappe. And you must know that they invented frappe in Greece. So, as you can imagine, they are really good at doing it in Saloniki. And we are drinking like two, three, twice, three times a day, even more probably. It's around two euros, so it's still cheaper than Costa Coffee or a coffee in Starbucks, for example. Which also you can find in Saloniki, but it's like many times empty. So, as you can imagine, this Fredo Chino is really, it's really good, it's tasty, it's very popular between Greek people, which we can say they love coffee, like for example Italians love, they drink really a lot of coffee and coffee is really good quality. Yes, it's very good, I love it a lot so really. So don't miss Fredocino. Yes, absolutely, when, if you will be in, in Greece, absolutely you must try it. It's awesome, it's refreshing, we were taking like two, three times a day and yes, it's also enough cheap. And we can say that f um, uh, fish is really good. Yes. You can find a lot of fresh fish and we ate once uh, fried squid or other kinds of seafood or Yes, fish. for example, really yes, when we were in Kalamitsi, Simone was, uh, for yeah. my name's day, was inviting me to a very nice restaurant on the beach and exactly, uh, I was taking salad with uh, tuna mm -hmm. and I love it generally but there was really amazing everything was so fresh tasty good smelling good tasting i know it was delicious completely delicious yes. and also served with this pita it's really pleasure of eating so food is really looks really fresh and of good quality so fish meat whatever you will choose to probably be 
Very good. Very good for you because tourists need to eat, especially <laughs> yes. after visiting, after going around. You can choose some place to eat souvlaki or to eat fish if you want to spend a bit more, but really not so much because even fish is, is not so expensive in Greece. So whatever you will choose to be affordable, we can say. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly, because I think that the fourth thing that is uh, it's worth to go to Greece is exactly prices. Their prices, because Greece is enough cheap. If you consider uh, Greece between the countries like exactly Italy, Spain, it's cheaper. Okay, it's also um, the thing that we were there two years ago that in the summer that was uh, after crisis. Yes. And I know that prices at that time were cheaper than normally. I don't know if now it was changing, but at that time it was really cheap and worth to go. Many people were considering exactly to go. And yes, it's true that we were arriving there. They were saying some that they, we can have some problems with bankomats or other things like this because they had. But finally we hadn't any problems, thankfully. And I think that really prices were very good. And this is about everything because hotels. Starting flights. from the flights that you can go from Poland, for example, with the Ryanair for really 25 euros because I was checking even one moment ago. Uh, you can go with EasyJet from Italy. Yeah, so really. From Milan, from Rome, from Poland, from Warsaw or from Krakow yeah. to Saloniki, but also to Islands, to Kos, to Crete. And generally, we're in Saloniki and so probably if you go to Athens can be more expensive because it's capital but still prices will not be so high so if you want to go for example to see this kind of, of beauty that you can see for example in Caribbeans or in Maldives you can go to Greece without spending so much and believe me it's not an exaggeration because you can see from every photo that the color of the sea and the color of sun it looks really like in Caribbean, but you are in Europe, so this can be also an advantage. Sure. And generally, we can say that um, the fifth yeah. thing that is like the thing that uh, is I don't know convincing us to advise you to go there is this fact that it's very safe place. Believe me that okay, mm -hmm. I know that many people are saying ah for what I should go there I will go to Tunisia or to Egypt for uh, the same money yes. for longer time I will have all inclusive, I don't know But nowadays it's really dangerous Yeah and Many people can Okay, for example, go to Egypt for a week without spending a lot of money But okay, to be your choice Because as you know, now there is a really big international problem with terrorists in Egypt is really not so safe. In Tunisia, I had even twice attack in Tunisia. And if you go to Mexico, it's very dangerous for tourists. All the time they kidnap them, and people really don't go out of resort. While in Greece, you can go out. You don't need to to go with uh, somebody. That's, for example, um, Greek, or you will see that it's everywhere very safe. Yeah, also um, people are very nice. I see that maybe exactly they had problems yeah, warm with tourists. And, and opened. Yeah. They had maybe some problem with immigrants last summer, but we didn't see this so much in Saloniki. You don't see yeah. this in, it's true that in exactly. big cities. So it's, we saw this mostly on, on borders, for example, but not in, in Saloniki. Yeah, exactly. They tried to, I don't know, keep uh, tourists uh, enough away from these problems, and this is exactly very good. I think that. There were people that they were a bit scared of this, but anyway, uh, it was really everything okay there. I was feeling safe and generally it was big fun. Yeah, so you can see this kind of tropical beauty without going out of Europe, exactly. in a safe place, without spending a lot of money and with great food and oh yeah, we strongly advise you to go to Greece. And we will bump you with photos that you want to go there. Yeah. And okay guys, uh, if you like this video, subscribe us like for more. Video.